Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling is in Beulah. I am Dr. Abstract, and we've got a bunch of bubblings to catch up on, so let's get right at it. We'll go to the Zim site now, and the first update we'll take a look at is in the code section. So we go into code, scroll on down, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, until we see the tools section here. Under the tools section, the first two bubblings we'll take a look at are the model view controller and node package manager. So the model view controller first. Um, we have helped out sort of uh, give a template for model view controller. There's a simple uh, version here and a, a, an example with the more complex one in. In general, how model view controller works is it splits your code up into three parts. The model handles your data and can access the database and, and, and the local storage and stuff. This is front end model view controller, by the way. So we bring in the data through the model and we save the data through the model. And then there's a view which shows all your display objects and these might be based on the model or the, the data that you have. And we've got a controller and how Zim breaks it up is the controller handles the events and it updates the view in the model. So the view is all of your assets that you're putting on the screen, uh, all of the things that you're making, circles, rectangles, triangles, buttons, components, that kind of stuff. And the controller all, is all the events that handle that. So it breaks down your front page very easily into these three things here. Uh, hey, a model is a new model, a view is a new view, and you pass to the view the model, and a controller is a new controller, and you pass to the controller the model and the view. Neat, huh? So the simple example we have is uh, just changing that color. The complex example that we have right here is an app that is remembering these numbers from the last time. So for instance, if I change that to a zero and I refresh the page, it's still a zero. And uh, we can swipe between pages. Option two is saved. If we change that to option four and we refresh, there's the zero. I swipe and option four is saved. And I swipe again and we're back. So this one is a more complex version that gets you set up with Zim pages to swipe between pages and Zim layout. This is adaptive responsive design here. And as well as showing components and saving the data and stuff like that. So that is there for you. If we take a brief look at the code, shall we? Let's see, how do I get there from here? There it is. Um, each one, uh, there's two folders, a model view controller folder with, uh, and then a simple model view controller. Let's look at that one first, the index of the simple. We have to bring in the model and the view and the controller. You see that okay? Bring in the, oops, uh, bring in the model view and the controller files. And then this is normal Zim stuff. And here we are making all that run. So this is our app page now. It just looks like that. We've divided our code up into the three places. The three places are the model. Now for each of these, we're using what's called the module pattern, or at least the old module pattern, where we're storing these on an app object. So app is the namespace that we're using. And uh, therefore, um, uh, yeah, the app.model class is, is defined here as this stuff. And then you do all of these things in here, uh, getting a random color. So we've broken down getting that color. Uh, we put that in, into the model. Didn't really have to be there, but you know this is a simple view. Then we've got the view. Uh, here's the view where we were making the logo and we were making that rectangle and that rectangle was the color that uh, came from the model. So we received the model as M. So we've, we've used model as M, V or, or view as V, and then uh, controller. Well, we have to reference that after, so it's okay. But uh, so here's the V being established and we return that back. Anyway, you'll, you'll see, you have to dig into this. I don't want to spend too much time on it. But there they are. And then here's the controller and the controller is saying, hey, the view, we're getting the view, we're getting the model and the view here so that we can update the model if we need to and um, access the view to apply events to it. So here we're saying, hey, the logo in the view, the bar in the view, when we click it or tap it, just 
alternatives here. Tap is changeable. Uh, we're changing the color to models get random color. Right. So this stuff that looks a little complex, well, not too complex at the beginning and the end, that's the module pattern. That's what Zim is built on um, or how Zim is stored and, and used and stuff like that. It looks a bit unruly at the beginning, but you don't have to really do anything. All you're really doing is working inside of here. And I think to get the separation there, it's probably worth it to be able to just stick these little things. Hey, this is coming from the view. Hey, this is coming from the model. And it's really not that bad, and it will help you on larger apps. The index for the complex example is much the same. We bring in the model view controller. We um, uh, set up the model view controller, so it's pretty well the same. Under the model, this time we're doing some local storage work. So we're getting things and saving things to local storage, so you can see how that works. Very simple to change this to, um, to, to work with a database. You can use Zim Async to go to the database and back without reloading pages and so forth. Uh, here's the view. The view is a bit more complicated this time because we've got um, our various, uh, we have a manager. Uh, there's a new manager, which means as we create pages, we can put the pages in a manager. We can put the, ass, uh, the layout in a manager. So here we are creating a new layout for these parts of, of page one. Those are the parts of page one. Here's a layout, and we add that to the manager. Here's uh, page two's layout, and we add that to the manager. And then there's the pages object, uh, and we're loading the pages horizontal object. Oh, and we've got a pages vertical. So we went all out on this one. It's adaptive, which means it changes depending on landscape or portrait. Where, and we show you how to swap between those pages a, as we change, two designs for each. So way down at the bottom of that, then here's the manager adding the vertical pages. There they are, um, and super duper. And now we go into the controller. The controller then is uh, updating the picker. I'm doing some stepper stuff, uh, updating the list. So there's a list and a few other things here. Oh, we use um, spots, it looks like, hotspots, to be able to go from page to page on logos and stuff like that. So hotspots are included. In other words, all of the things that we've been using in Zim in sort of final uh, mobile app type world um, are, are in here in small bits. So you can see how we managed to swap pages based on orientation changes and stuff like that. So this is a nice, tidy, the most current sort of view of all of these types of things, the model view controller versions. And that is what has been bubbling at Zim, the model view controller. Come in and check it out if you've heard of that. If you haven't, then um, you'll probably get there eventually as you continue to build and learn uh, about coding. It's a design pattern. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night. Ciao.